So what is God's true name? As I mentioned, Exodus 3 verse 15 reveals God's name as the letters yod He vav He. Scholars debate the pronunciation of those four letters though. Most say it's Yahweh, and other groups say it's Yahuwah, while others say it's pronounced another way. This confusion partly stems from the ineffable name doctrine, which has caused the true pronunciation to be lost over time. However, there is hope. The ancient Israelites frequently used a shortened version of God's name. Yah. The phrase hallelujah, Yah, literally means praise Yah. It's a simple yet powerful way to call on his name. In the original Hebrew text, several scriptures use Yah instead of the full name explicitly. Exodus 15 verse 2 says, Yah is my strength and my defense, and he has become my salvation. Psalm 68 verse 4 says, sing to God, sing in praise of his name, rejoice before him. His name is Yah. Even if we've lost the full pronunciation, Yah remains a scripturally sound and revered name. Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. All right, so yeah, this is going to be a quick epistle on the Heavenly Father's name, all right? Because you saw the clip, and you heard this Jake talking about simply just calling the Most High, Yah, all right? And we shouldn't be doing that in these last days, man. The Heavenly Father's true name is not Yah. Yah simply means He. It just means He, all right? So that's not being specific enough. Especially for us in this time with the time that we're coming into Jacob's trouble. We need to call on the Most High's full, true, proper name in the uh, Paleo-Hebrew, in the ancient in the ancient uh, Hebrew, the uh, Lashuan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, man. All right, and his name is Yahweh. Now, we must call on the son, too, Yahweh Shai. But this guy, he, this Jake, he's talking about the father, so I just want to make this quick epistle. But I must say, we got to call on the father through the son. The son's true name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai. All right, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, because you heard him talking about the uh, Tetragrammaton, all right, the Y H W H. And when you go to the um, Paleo Hebrew, all right, when you see the Tetragrammaton, it's Yahweh Ha. All right, but of course, all right, the, the, the Y and the Ha are connected, so it's Yahweh. All right. So, so you see on the screen, all right, the uh the um the Paleo Hebrew, and you see the Assyrian Hebrew. All right. And when you look in the blue, when you go into the blue letter, when you get the Lord's name, the Heavenly Father's proper name, it's me you know, I, I get it in Exodus 3. Exodus 3 and 15. Because 14 is not, is not the Heavenly Father saying his name to Moses. All right? Contrary to popular belief and opinion, man. Verse 14, when you read it, it says, And the Heavenly Father said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Now, this is not the Heavenly Father telling Moses his name. Moses, um... Uh, Asked, asked the heavenly father for his name in verse 13. And when the heavenly father replied, I am that I am, he said, you really can't, you know, my name can't be put into words. He was like, words can't describe my name. That's basically what he's saying to Moses. All right. That's why he just said, well, I am. All right. It's no, it's no words. No words can, can, can justly, rightfully describe my name, man, because the heavenly father is everything. And that's what his name means. That's what his name means means he is he to be he exists he just is man he's everything man so that's what he was saying to moses in verse 14 all right now in verse 15 he tell moses his name all right exodus 3 and 15 and the heavenly father said moreover unto moses so he continued to speak he did you can't just stop at verse 14 to think you got the name of the heavenly father you have to read verse 15 the name is in verse 15 and the heavenly father said moreover unto moses all right, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, the Lord, which is capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. All right, and that's the, that's the Heavenly Father's name. 
All right. And we're going to you're going to see that it's Yahweh. All right. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Mawashah, the power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. So in verse 15, he said, this is my name forever. He said, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh has sent, Yahweh of your fathers have sent you. That's why he said in verse 15, this is my name forever. All right. So he didn't say that about uh, I am. He didn't say that about Ahiah. Because a lot of Hebrew Israelites say Ahiah is the father's name. No, man. Ahiah translated in the Hebrew, it simply means that I am. But Moses didn't say I am when he went to the children of Israel. All right. Because that's the heavenly father speaking from from um from a first person point of view. All right, so Moses all right would have said he is. He didn't say I am. That would that would have that would have been like Moses saying that he's the heavenly father, that he is. No, Moses didn't say I am, which is Ahiah. He said he is, which is Yahweh. All right, so let's get this word for Lord in all caps. All right. Which is it should I think it's gonna be Jehovah. Jehovah. Yep. Strong's H3068. Strong's H3068. Yehovah. Yehovah or Jehovah. Now, of course, we know there's no E's and O's and U's in the Paleo Hebrew, man. What you're seeing here. All right, when you see it in the Assyrian, it's correct. When you look at it without the vowel points, it's pronounced Yahweh. Just take away the vowel points, all right? When you look at it simply without the vowel points in the Assyrian script, it's Yahweh. All right, because our people, uh, upon going into the uh, Assyrian captivity, you know, you, that's where you get the Assyrian Hebrew from, the Assyrian script, all right? So look at it without the vowel points. It's Yahweh, all right? In the touch of grammar turn, it'll be Yahweh, all right? But of course, like I said, the high and the wall are connected, so it's Yahweh, all right? Because when you go back to the, uh, when you look at it here in, in the Assyrian, all right, you got the Paleo Hebrew, which is the second row from the top, and you got the Assyrian Hebrew, which is the third row from, which is the, which is the third row from the top. You see, you got Abagahada, Ab Abagahawaza, Ka, Ta, Ya ka la ma na sa i pa ta za you know and so forth and so on. I don't want to go through the whole alphabet, but you so you see the the characters in the Assyrian Hebrew. Alright. Like I said, the Assyrian is the third row from the top. You can see it here, Assyrian Hebrew language. You got the Yah, you got the Ha, and you got the uh Wa Ha. But the Ha and the Wa are connected, so it'll just be Yaha Wa. But what you see here without the vowel points. Is is right. It's Yahweh in the Assyrian, all right, in the Assyrian Hebrew. Because when you go down, all right, it says Jehovah, the existing one, the proper name of the one true power, unpronounced except without the vowel point. Is just you take away the vowel points. It's Yahweh, all right. It's Yahweh, all right. Not Jehovah, not Yahovah, all right. Again, there's no e's and and, and O's and U's in Hebrew, so it's not Yeshua, Yahua, Ahia. You know, none of that, man. It's Yahawa. All right, and when you go back to the Hebrew, it was a uh, pattern. All right, you you got a uh, consonant vowel, consonant vowel. So you got the Yahawa. All right, and that's the name of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew, man. All right, so when you go up the second row from the top. All right, the uh, Paleo Hebrew. Matter of fact, I'll just get this one, this one clear. In the, in the Paleo Hebrew, you'll see here you got Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. All right, on the left, you got Yahweh. All right, this is in the, um, this is in the uh, Paleo Hebrew. All right, so this is how it would look. All right, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the Paleo Hebrew. Now, when you're looking at it here in the blue letter, like I said, this is the Assyrian. All right, but it's, it's Yahweh. All right, so it's it's not just simply Yah, all right, because Yah, like I said, Yah just means He, all right. So you got to be more particular, more specific, 
more specific. You gotta elaborate, man, because you just saying y'all, y'all just he, he what, he who? Because you got a lot of confusion with the names in these last days. Like I said, you got all these names, Yahweh, all right, uh, Yahusha, all right, all right. You got um, like I said, Ahia, you know. So Yahweh, Yahusha, Yehuda. So you can't just say Yah, man. Yah just means he. You, you, you got to go into the name, man. The full, true, proper name of the Heavenly Father. It's Yahweh. All right. But yeah, you got uh, Psalm 68. Let's go there. That says, um, Yah. All right. But you, uh, we're going to read the scripture first. Psalm 68 and 4. Sing unto the Most High, sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Now, you got to remember when this was written, all right, because this is the Psalm of David, it, Psalm of David. So it was already, a, it was clear, it was well known that the Heavenly Father's true name was Yahweh. So if you said Yah, everybody knew that that was short for Yahweh. all right? But now, you know, like I said, with all the names you got out there, you know, Yahweh, Yahusha, Yehuda, all these different names. You just saying Yah, that's not that's not clear enough in these last days, man. So it's best to just say Yahweh. All right, Yahweh. All right, so so yeah, man. That's why we say the full name, man. And we have to go to uh, the Heavenly Father when we send up our prayers. When we call on Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, we, we ain't saying no, we ain't saying the short and virgins, man. We saying the full names, the formal names, man. You know, we ain't in no position. We ain't in, we ain't in no position to be saying a short and virgin of the Heavenly Father's name, man, or the sons, man. We gotta call on their four true proper names, man. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Alright. And like I said, in the in the Paleo Hebrew, these this is how this is how it looks, man. Alright. You got Yahweh on the left, and you got uh, Yahweh Shah on the right. Remember, in the Hebrew, uh, like you see on the screen, you read left to right. So when you're looking at it here in the Assyrian, when you look it up in the blue letter, you're reading, reading from uh, right to left, it's Yahweh. Remember, take away, uh, take away the vowel points. All right? It's Yahweh. And uh, this is the Assyrian script, the Assyrian Hebrew. All right. In Psalm, when you when you go to Psalm sixty eight, it tells you that Yah is just a short form, which the guy said in the clip. But now in these last days, it, that's 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 kind of being too uh, vague, because with all the names that got Yah in and out there in these last days, that's not you're you're not being specific enough. So don't just say Yah, Yahweh. All right, Yahweh. So I just want to go into that, man, because scripture talk about the name. All right, let's go to uh, Proverbs 30. You have to call on the, uh, you have to know the true names, man, of the father and son in the Paleo Hebrew, not this bastard tongue called English. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou can tell. Again, the heavenly father's name, whom the word ignorantly calls God, his name is Yahweh. All right. And his one and only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, whom the word ignorantly calls Jesus. His true name in the Paleo, Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. Like I said, when you go into the uh, ancient Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew, there's no E's, U's, O's, and of course no J's, man. Because you're going to see in the scriptures, uh, in the blue letter, Jehovah. All right? But remember, it's no J's, man. All right? The letter J didn't come about to um, 1524. That's a Renaissance letter. It's an extension of the I. All right? So there's no J's, man. So it's Yahweh. The name of the Father and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. All right. So yeah, don't just say Yah, man. 
You know, when you pray, when you send it up your prayers, all right, when you beseeching the Heavenly Father through the Son, you say, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, not just Yah. All right, because the Lord said he will restore unto us a pure language, which is the uh, Paleo-Hebrew. Let's go to uh, Zephaniah 3. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9. For then I will turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Again, you get this word Lord in all caps. It's Yahweh. All right, you see it right here. All right. Again, yep, Yahweh. This is in the Assyrian. You remember reading right to left without the without the vowel points. Take all the vowel points now. Yahawa. All right. So when in the textual grammar uh, tongue, like I said, you see Y H W H. All you gotta do is add the add, add the ah. Yahawa. All right. And when you see it in the Hebrew, like I said, it's Yahawa ha. All right. But of course, the Y and the ha are connected. It'll be Yahawa. All right. The son's name is Yahawa Shai. All right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. All right. So, yeah, man. So, not just Yah. Yah simply means he. You got a, you, you, you got a lot of uh, names with, with, with that in it, man. So, you got to be specific. Like, for example, here I'm going to put in Jah, which is really Yah. All right, and look at all these names, man. Look at the different names with Yah in it, man, because it simply means he. All right, look at all these names, man. Aha or a jaw or really aha. You got Jahil. All right, Jazil. You got Jalil, Jazil. All right. So yeah, man. Jahaz. Look at all these names, man. Bith Ja. Bith Ha. Bith Ha. Ha. Biz Hath. Ha. Which is you it look like bitch Ja Ja. Alright. But the point is, look at all these names, man. Cause Yah just simply means he. So not you can't don't just call the heavenly father Yah, man. You gotta you got these Yah Israelites out there, man. You know? Yah, Yah, bitch, Yah, no, man. Yahawa. Alright, Yahawa. Yah just means he. You know, we 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 need to call the heavenly father by his full true name, man, not a shortened version of it. Alright, because like I said, we go in the blue letter. It even tells you in the blue letter, man, y'all just a shortened form of Yahweh. All right. So we ain't we ain't to do that. It was back under it was understood back then when somebody said Yah, oh, you talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But now you got all these names with Yah in it, man. So say the full name, Yahweh. Let's go to what's, what was it? Psalms uh, 68. Psalm 68. And four. You see uh Jah or Yah. All right. Where is it? So, yeah, it's going to tell you it's a shortened form, man, of Yahweh. It's going to say a shortened form of Jehovah, of course, in, in the blue letter. But right here, you see, man, outline of biblical usage. All right. It says Jah, Jehovah in shortened form. So, it's really Yah, Yahweh in shortened form. You see, uh... You see, you got I then one that says the proper name of the one true power. All right. And it's Yahweh. All right. Yahweh. So when you see Lord in all caps, when you see uh, God in all caps, that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right. When you see capital L, lowercase O-R-D, I'm talking about the Son, Yahweh Shah. All right. But, um, you know, the focus of, of this uh, lesson was the Heavenly Father. All right, because I want to do the lesson based on the clip, of course. So it's not just Yah, man. Don't just say Yah. Yahweh. Say Yahweh. All right. So, yeah, I don't want this to be too long, you know. I just wanted to go into that briefly. All right. So when you go into the uh, ancient uh, Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right.
We going this and and what this is what it's gonna look like in the uh Assyrian. You, uh, again, you see the Assyrian uh characters. All right, but when you uh when you look at that in uh blue letter in the Assyrian, this is what it's gonna look like. Bear with me for a second. And you see it here without the vowel points. Yahweh, when you're reading in the Hebrew, right here. Yahweh, Yah, this is what it, see, this is without the vowel points, all right? It's clearer. Yahweh, all right? Yahweh, which is uh, Yahweh, all right? So that's what it looked like, man. All right, we're going to we'll look at it with the vowel points to show you that, you know, how it looks so you won't be thrown off. All right. So this is how it look with the vowel points. But yeah, it's clear. Like I said, it's clear. You can clearly see that it's clear without the vowel points. But this is Yahweh in the Assyrian. All right. In the Assyrian Hebrew. All right. So this is what it looked like. It's in the uh, Assyrian. Matter of fact, I'll go back and get it without the vowel points. Let me go back and get it without the vowel points. So this is this is uh this is this is what it looked like in the Assyrian. Alright. And this is what it looked like in the Paleo Hebrew. Alright. Yahawa. Alright, Yahawa. And you can see the Hebrew characters. You put them all together, you get you got the Yah. The wa, the ha, and the wa. All right, Yahawaha. All right, which is Yahawa because the wa and the ha are connected, so it'll be Yahawa. All right, so that's what it looked like in the Hebrew. All right, and this is the uh, Assyrian Hebrew. All right, so yeah, man, it's Yahawa, not just Yah. Be sure to call on Yahawa Bahashem, which means in the name. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. That's you calling on the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son in the in the ancient uh in the Paleo Hebrew. They're true names. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. All right, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And that's what we say, man. All right, call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. All right. So yeah, man, I just wanted to do that. Uh I just wanted to go into that. All right. So it's not just Yah, man, because you got these Yah Israelites out there, man. All right, that don't have the one hundred percent truth. All right. So yeah, man, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I pray that this was edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. So like I pray this was edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in our truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The house of David started with 144,000, followed by the one-third remnant. Ababa Shalom.